U.S. national security officials meeting virtually with Israeli counterparts today to discuss a potential military operation in southern Gaza. National correspondent Atra El Nashar brings us the latest from Washington. U.S.-Israel relations in a fraught state as the Biden administration tries to persuade Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu against a military offensive in Gaza's southernmost city of Rafah. We have laid out our concerns about this for some time, and I think it's important uh, that both sides are, are having this discussion. The administration approving additional weapons for Israel while pushing alternatives to a Rafah invasion. We know that there are more than a million uh, Palestinians who are in Rafah right now who move from the north uh, to go into Rafah. If they are going to move forward with a military operations, we have to have this conversation. Uh, we have to understand how they're going to move forward. Netanyahu denies it would deepen the humanitarian crisis. All of the Gaza Strip north of Rafah, you know, people move down, they can move back up. Both leaders under immense political pressure to change course. Last week, protesters interrupting President Biden's fundraiser in New York City, and many progressives are voting uncommitted in their state's presidential primary. Back in Israel... Thousands of protesters across Tel Aviv and Jerusalem call for a new government. Netanyahu and his coalition have no intent of taking responsibility over the worst disaster in Israel's history. They claim Netanyahu is prioritizing holding on to power over the safe return of hostages. Around the world, calls for a ceasefire continue as the death toll in Gaza nears 33,000, according to the Gaza Health Ministry. Those calls echoing through the Vatican on Easter Sunday. Pope Francis appealing for an immediate ceasefire, access to humanitarian aid in Gaza, and the prompt release of hostages. Support for Israel among the American people is slipping. A new Gallup poll shows approval for Israel's military action in Gaza is just 36 percent, a 14-point drop from November. In Washington, I'm Atrel Nashar.